All right, what's going on guys? So I wanna just do this quick video. I know a lot of people are going through very tough circumstances, whether you're going through a personal circumstance or whether you're in this journey with me and you guys have been praying for this nation, for the world and all the different things going on. And I wanted to just encourage people because a lot of people are being shaken to the core and they're really going through and wrestling with things that they never thought they would. They're going through you know, timing, uh, trust, uh, faith issues, and just uh, many different things in opposition. And um, the Lord's really just been reminding me that a lot of you, uh, including myself, we're going through a, a, a very thick period in the valley. And, um, you know, God has reminded me of so many different truths, so many different promises that he's given me and given us in the Bible. And one of the verses that he just brought me to is uh, Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, and it says, be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. And so, you know, one of the big things that the Lord has just been reminding me is that you need to hold your ground. You need to stand up for truth and you need to be in a place where you are walking with him. And no matter what is happening, no matter if it's your family member, if it's even your um, church uh, whether it's people close to you, whether it's just, you know, scoffers or mockers, anybody that's going against uh, what the Lord has given you, what the Lord has promised you, and the fight that he has against evil, he wants you to stand firm and to be courageous, to stand strong, to be bold and not to uh, relent or, or step back or concede. And so many of us are struggling with that. We're thinking through logic. We're thinking through what we see in the flesh what's logical, and what's just basically walking by sight. And I've talked about this before, but we need to be walking by faith and we need to be trusting in him because God is the one that's allowing you to walk through this valley. And whether it is uh, through this entire circumstance that you've seen me walk through, or whether it's a personal circumstance, a calling, nudging in your heart, an open door, or a decision you've got to make, a person you've got to commit to, and any of these things, whether it's in the macro part of your life or whether it's in this macro or micro part of your life or this macro circumstance that we're all living through, that this nation and this world is living through, God is saying that he's walking with us and he's reminding us that we need to stand with him because he's the one that um, you know doesn't forsake us. He says he doesn't leave us. He doesn't forsake us. And because we're so... Um, oftentimes just in doubt, we're in a place where we're just questioning a lot of things, but really God has been working all of those things. And he wants just to simply be reminded of the truths that, that are in the Bible. And this is the opportunity right now to get deeper in the word, stay in prayer, and to really just um, have a heart that seeks after him because many of us are lost and we're giving up and we just even can't handle like uh, a short period of time uh, in between whatever you're going through, whether it's another job, the next opportunity, whether it's in between, you know, a relationship or a um, breakup or whatever it is that people are going through, right? God is really um, reminding us that he's, no, he's not going to leave us. He's not going to forsake us. And, um, you know, many of us think that God has abandoned this nation. He's abandoned people, but really he doesn't do that. And that's what the Bible says. It's not any other revelation that you know someone is giving you this is what the bible says and this is what god promises to those that are faithful to him that have been praying that are in a, a communion and in and union with him um, but he's also trying to teach us uh, during this time to be stronger to be more bold and to be able to stand in faith to exercise those things and so he can train you and he can refine you and so just keep your head high and uh, many of us on a daily basis, we're struggling with that and we're wrestling with that. And so keep your head high. It's a very simple message and a very simple word of encouragement today, but it's needed because you have to be in word, you have to be in prayer and you have to be reminded of the truth and of the promises that God has for many of us. And so um, stay strong and you have the company of many brothers and sisters. You have the company obviously of God uh, but again, this time is precious and just be evaluating, evaluating in your heart. What is it that God is doing during this time of being in the waiting room of just uh, having the God, having our God fight the battle for us. And so thank you guys. Um, God bless you. 
Have a good Sunday and we'll talk soon.